Welcome back to Final Fantasy VIII. So yeah, wow, because that story is amazing. <laughs> wow, way to go! You tell him you can't treat us that way. Uh, yeah. What way? Moving on, I guess. Um. Oh, the story is so amazing. Oh, these guys don't seem to have it to give. <laughs> You know, Zell, you actually have a just, point. Just say it, we're, we're just me. a bunch of jokers. Pot calling kettle. Yeah. Oh, no, well, seriously, seriously, to be fair, Zell actually has but a But turns point. out the princess is... <gasps> her. Her? You don't remember the girl her? that's falling in the ballroom. <laughs> Go ahead, actually, right. she's gonna say her name in a second. Hey, you're... You know, from the party. Yeah, I know, I'm the cool silent guy. <laughs> yeah, but which one? There's like 50 of them there. Sure. So, does that mean you're a seed? Uh, yes. Well, I mean, I'm, but, well, but, um, but don't we all come from seeds? That's a terrible pickup line, Weaves. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't meant to be a pickup line. Hey, oh, maybe Dwib should, should be the other guy. I'm cool. <laughs> I forget his name. <laughs> There's two others with me. Uh, what kind of guy? I'm going. The one from the, the, one from the dream sequence yesterday. Uh, with yeah, see it is here. Like Take she, it easy. She just jumped into his arms. <laughs> Go ahead. It's just that I'm so happy, and that bed looks very awkward. So I should yeah, have been Laguna then, you're saying, Shiri. All right, Shiwa, yes, you, you, you have to sound happy like a Disney princess. Go ahead. Okay. I I, I already read that line. I, I know, I know. I'm just telling you for the next lines. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. I've been sending requests to... Garden? garden? The, yep. uh, That's the, the name of the place. Oh, I'm Garden, the place we work at. Jo oh, I've been sending garden. requests to Garden forever, but nothing. I thought that's called it The Garden. Actually, because there are multiple ones. I'm so glad I spoke to Sid directly. And now you know what Sid means when he said this was a special request. There you go. Is he trying to, like, get his students hooked up or something? Maybe. Oh no, keeper on deck. So you were looking for the headmaster at the party. You know, wait, is this Cypher? Yeah, Cypher. yeah. you know Scyther? Sorry, it, it didn't say um, the name, even do, though Scrooge is the last one to speak. Do you really need to bring him up? <sighs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's the one who introduced me to Sid. Oh, my God, you're gonna him, are you? <laughs> um, here's the thing, Lips, to, to quote Watchmen, she did it 35 minutes ago. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How old was the age gap between these two? This, um, um, uh, roughly the same, they're the same age, roughly. Actually. No, I meant her and Sid, because the way she said it... No, I'm, I'm talking about Cypher, Dweebs. Uh. Basically, Dweebs, Renoa is Cypher's ex-girlfriend, basically. I really don't oh. think Sid would come out to help a measly little group like us. Well, we tend to do surprising objectives. And surpri and surprisingly, this does not lead into a love triangle. You'd think, huh? But no. Yeah. Thank well, God. I'm, I'm actually kind of glad. Well, to be fair, to be fair, Cypher is the kind of guy you expect a smart girl to break up with. He, but, after explaining, Sorry, go on. Go on. but after explaining our situation to him, Sid gave the go-ahead right away. It's more the question, the question in Jovan of how these two got together in the first place. Like, what did she see in him? Now that you guys yeah. are here, we'll be able to carry out all kinds of plans. Well, Dale, I'm gonna get, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself, but I, I don't think Renoa has very good taste in men. No. To be honest with you. Definitely no. <laughs> It's not so much her taste, him, and it's that we don't really get much of an explanation for her taste. That's the thing, Joe, but there's a lot of crap in this game that happens off screen that should happen on screen. Oh. Really gives you the semblance that either this game was rushed, even though that wouldn't make any sense. No. Or there was just nah, so much story that they had that they just couldn't fit onto there's, the There's discs. not been any counted 21 years that this game was rushed. Shiri. 
So maybe it's just a case where they had so much story. Don't worry, she's gonna tell. She's gonna tell her name in a second, and from that on, where oh, the there you go. Sure. text box will. Um, Squall, is he here? Well, he yes, I am. This would yes. <laughs> oh God, no. He's not. She's talking about an actual man. She can lose. Go ahead, Jova. Cypher. It's Cypher. Cypher. No, he's not a seed. He failed. <laughs> I deliberately did that. Shut oh. up. What, are they going to imply that the reason he acts the way he does is because he broke up with Renoa? Or because he's a, she he's, he's, a uh, he's grumpy, he's not getting oh, away. Go. Oh, she's about to tell her name. Oh yeah, my name's... Hmm, what's I'm going to get cut off. I'm, I'm going to cut off. Yeah. Cut, yeah. yeah. Oh. So, 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 Renoa uh, Hartilia. Remember, remember Shiroya, you can name the characters in this era of Final Fantasy, so... Surprisingly, I've noticed in the lives, you can only do it for three characters here in this game. Squall, Renoa, and her dog. For some reason. We get so, to name uh, the oh, dog? Yeah, I should, yes. yes. I've actually been playing Final Fantasy VIII. I've been live streaming it to a couple of the other med group members when we're not commentating. I uh, renamed uh, Squall uh, Mopey. <laughs> Original. Okay. <laughs> so how well, you like in the game? It, it fits. Okay. So how you like sure. in the game so far? Um. Oh, let's let um, you read. Do you want to answer, Dribs? Or it's it's it's. There you go first. <sighs> Seed members dance quite well, don't they? Uh, you are uh, terrible, really? but <laughs> uh, basically, Jova, um, it would be fine. It's just the pacing's really freaky slow. Okay. Yeah, I can get that. We, we've Approach we've noticed. Target. There may be missions requiring this sort of subterfuge. It's expected of C to learn various skills, to infiltrate and whatnot. So, so they're kind of training us to be James Bond. Basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, without so any it's job. Yes. yes, it's all work related. Uh, yeah, yeah, so sure, sure, sure. Happen the to get the hots for each other. By the way, so Shiro, the, by the, way, Shiro the current tone of voice that you just used right now for Renault, that's the perfect one. Use that. So, uh, basic, so basically, Joe, that's they're too being bad. So basically, Joe, they're being trained to be George Lazenby. Basically, oh, if we, we happen to have affections for each other, and and, and that leads to yeah. sex. It's all just work related. Is it sad that this doggo still looks better than the Lightning Returns doggo? <laughs> Every time a dog appears in this series, we're going to mention that. Well, that's this is my partner. It, it, it we, kind of bears mentioning. This it. is my partner. Uh, yeah. Oh, she doesn't oh, mean it like that. Angelo. Yeah. Well, and by the way, the, the, the entire name of a dog is called Sant'Angelo di Roma. So well, it, it, sorry, it means I'm Holy sorry. Angel of this Rome. Is by, uh, what this, is by, this is my dog to you. Clearly, I cannot compete with him. No wonder you broke up with Cypher. I have no idea. Oh, why. Yeah, hold on. Renoa's limit break uses Angelo. Yes, Renoa attacks yeah. with her doggo. Yeah, the tricks she, they're not even drawing. The doggo. tricks Angelo can learn are listed on the status screen. Beautiful. The fourth status screen lists all the tricks that Angelo can learn. The gauge on the right indicates how much has been learned. So basically, it's kind of like Final Fantasy IX's um, learning method, basically. When the gauge is full, the trick has been learned. I'll admit, I kind of like the Angelo mechanics. They're not for everyone, but... Oh, I, oh, I love them. I, I love them just for the fact that Renua literally throws her dog at the enemies. Like, I'm gonna get a fan yeah, art right? in the meantime. I'm not kidding, Shiroi. Renua literally f uses her dog as cannon bullets. <laughs> The, the, there's a, the literal attack is called Angel Cannon. Yes. Okay, can I have a time, please? Uh, go to 9.15 or something. Uh, okay, or... ready. Are okay. you there? Ne yep. Okay. All right, and uh, click. There you go. Okay. Uh, if you said the trick, that has already been learned. Yes. But yeah, but yeah, seriously, though. Okay, let it not be said that 8 did not give a lot of interesting ideas. Like, someone who actually uses a dog in combat... It's Surprisingly, good. this series has I mean, really attack thought dogs about and guard dogs are a thing. No, 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 she right. If they ever do a 7S remake of this game, I'll get changed. She right, she right. I don't think you're understanding me quite well, she right. It's not, he's not an attack dog. Renoa literally has a crossbow wrist thingy, and she uses it to literally throw the dog at the enemies. 
quite seriously. No, I'm not was, kidding. No, I thought that was just a figure of speech. No, yeah. I'm not kidding. <laughs> she eats the dog out. <laughs> That's the thing. That's the thing. Okay, Drita already brings an unconventional weapon that really hasn't been used in a franchise at all. Basically, a, a, a wrist, um, you know, gun that uses um, throwable discs. Uh, to throw at the, at the enemy. It's kind of a throwback to actually tossable weapons like shurikens, but it's just weirdly implemented. And yes, for her limit break, at least so far, she can use Angel in different ways, including just propelling it using her own weapon. Okay. It's literally called Angel Cannon. That's the thing. When you think about a lot of spells in Final Fantasy VIII, some disturbing imagery really comes to mind. This can't be good for the doggo, can it? For instance, when no, you think about fine. when you think about it, bad breath is essentially the character ejecting an ungodly smog from their mouth and whatnot, like they're upchucking something. And then there's a spell that technically means that Quistus is devouring All right. whatever Pet is pal it's not to Quistus. Here's the magazine that Zell found. Pet pals. We bring the latest pet news to dog lovers. Wait, basically, uh, basically, it's used to give more tricks to Angelo. Basically, basically, Java, the devour command is something that you get in this game from uh, one of the GFs, and you can assign that command to any character. I know, but still, I, I, I guess I just happen to always assign it to Quistus, but yeah, fair That's enough. That's because anyway. of the fan art that you see from the neighbors, yeah. Yeah, uh, what's his name? Uh, that's the nickname that he uses. The correct name, because I think he's Eastern Empire, is Stefan Stijic. It's uh, for me. It's one of those things. Again, it's it's like um, much like the devil in a lamb thing. This is yet another one of those elements that sounds a uh, sounds really awesome at, for the hell of they, it. They but clash with this with the more quote unquote realistic tone that the me, game is going yeah, for. Yeah, allow me to use seven. Uh, for as much as people like to make fun of how big the Buster Sword is, you have to at the very least admit that that for the most part, the game kept itself restrained enough so that it never had something that just looked overly silly or out of place. It's even explained in-universe of why it's used that way. Oh, I agree. As I don't, much as people I agree. do like to joke about it, there is a lot of lore regarding the Buster Sword here in the Sure, show. sure. I agree, I agree. I'm just saying in terms of, you know, how people like to do that. This game, on the other hand, has a lot of moments like this with the dog and the devil, but they never get properly... All right. Go ahead. This Time is a full-scale operation! There you go. Time for another briefing, and actually, this is actually one of my favorite plans of the game. This is gonna be the running gag. Every character that has a... Um, uh, that has his hair like that uh, has a Zell style voice. <clears throat> Exciting, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Sorry, mission debriefing. It all started when we got a hold of top screen info from Galbadia. Oops. I got the info, sir! I told you... You will speak when you're speaking to, maggot! <laughs> so, there's a VIP from Galbadia coming to Timber. Super yeah, VIP! I... You will yeah, speak when I speak to you! Damn it. You don't want me to put you back in the box, do you? And I shall not be speaking to you. The guy's name is Vincent Del- go ahead. Vincent Dealing is a scout! Well, Thank you! What? Yeah, he he actually is. A Think of uh, Red White uh, from the first days of He's Germany. a dictator, not a president. Not even pro pro popular in Galbadia. So. Oh, oh, excuse me, what? Oh. Do you want to do the debriefing yourself since you keep interrupting me? Huh? Boy, sure. yeah, that's some good fiction there. President <laughs> Delling is taking a private train from the Galbadian capital. So sure, well, what you're talking about, there's clearly no person in real life that can be like that. Alright, so basically yeah. there's a president uh, on a private train. So what about it? Our plan is to... I think Self is about to mention something. Hmm... Blow it to smithereens with a rocket launcher? Yeah. That would actually uh, be kind of cool. Selfie, we tr we're trying a cleanup job here, not to go around. This is this is I'm when I this is when I here. this is when I knew exactly who I was gonna have voice selfie, right here I mean, with this line. Okay, to selfie's credit, that would get the job done. Problem is, uh, again, too messy. Not quiet. We're not make a scene here. We're, we're not terrorists. Okay, to the point. Just tell us what to do. Well, he's been trying, but everyone keeps interrupting him. That is true. Go ahead, Shiree. Shall we begin? Alright, time for the briefing, actually. 
Again, I actually kind of like these mission for how slightly creative it is. Yeah, it is. Go ahead. Shira. First, I'll go over the model. We actually took time to replicate that, so pay attention. Yes. Pay attention. I bought it to create this toy train so I can show you, so pay attention. Go ahead. <laughs> the yellow train on the top right is our base. We're riding in it right now. There you go. It says the right there. Base. Pauses are deliberate, base. so she can wait to see if anybody's going to interrupt her. <laughs> it says base. It says right there, base. Base don't walk it with. And then, go what ahead. about that base? Train. Right next to it is the dummy car. We made it to look just like the president's car. Yeah. You can probably the already guess car, where we're going, perfect. where she's going with this. The dummy car, perfect for all dummies. So, squall, get in there. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, dummy, blue, base, yellow. Color cleared for your convenience. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Simple. Go ahead. The train has three cars. First, there's the locomotive, followed by the first escort. So that means we have to replace uh, cars. Okay. Oh, are we going to Lone Ranger this? Yes. I don't, I don't know if yeah. they didn't invent the uh, movie, Jova, but uh, yeah, we need to do a pull a switcheroo. They kind of did it for a part of the final scene. It's kind of like uh, how that puzzle in Diabolical bo Box also kind of does something similar to this. Mm hmm. Much like with chess puzzles, these actually are some of my favorites. So. Go ahead. The red car is the president's car. Telling should be inside. You can tell it because I spoke President's car in red letters. It's me. Red is a very girls. important color in the video games. True. <laughs> Go ahead. The last car is the second escort. Once we get on this one, we begin the operation. So you start from the bottom of the train. Well, if, if Archer told you anything, is that you should not, you should not underestimate the top of the train. I'd prefer not to learn anything from Archer, to be honest. <laughs> to be fair, Shiro, it actually is a good lesson. Also, don't piece off... Um, um, I forgot what's the name. Archer? But basically, uh, uh, sorry? Don't piss off Archer. No, 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 no. The, 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 the cat-like uh, thing that is allowed thing in the same uh, episode. I forgot what it's called. Oh, the... Um... I basically, forget. Basically, a, a discount cheetah. Ah... Uh... I can't remember what it was, but I do remember, yeah, yeah, that thing. That means we'll have to switch our dummy car with the president's car. Yeah. Sounds simpler than it actually is, but yeah. Go ahead. We'll use the, twi the, we'll use the two switch points leading up to Timber to carry out this operation. Yes. There we go. Babu the Ocelot. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Basically, what you do is you save and before just to make sure, and then you go. Okay, now I'm going to explain the procedures in seven steps. Okay, step one, <laughs> don't screw up. Step two, pay attention, Zero. <laughs> step one, Final Fantasy one. Step but two, guys, Final uh, Fantasy two. But I two. don't like. Step three, I... profit. But come on, come on, guys. Trains are boring. Don't you dare insult my Step one, dress. sneak on board sneak a second on board escort. The second escort. Go we'll on. get on the roof of the second escort by jumping from our dummy well, car. What do we like this, Shui? I'll read the steps' names and you read what Renault actually sure. says. Uh, self, uh, selfie, we're using these trades to plan, so keep your heads to yourself. Aww, Step man. two, proceed cautiously across the roof of the second escort. The second escort. Oh, no, mind, it's Watts. Uh, go ahead, Webs. Sorry. Go oh, ahead. Sorry. Never Second mind. escort car is the only one that is equipped with sensors. Sir. You will only speak when spoken to, Watts. Hey, this shut is up, my man. Tutorial. I'm trying to talk Shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, yeah, Renault is the leader, so yeah, you have to tell no, to what she says. You guys so. remind me why I actually prefer Zell and Selfie's company. <laughs> admit, admit it, Squall. You're just missing me. <laughs> no. officer is on board. I'll I will talk miss... about the sensors later. And by the way, Shirai, there's a. Uh, and by the way, Shirai, much like with Phoenix and Edgeworth, there's a strong um, squall uh, cipher shipping uh, oh, fan base. Yeah. Uh, yes. yeah, no homo. <laughs> it's the faux it's completely homo. Step free. Homo. Proceed around the crew of the roof of the president's car. Go ahead, Shirai. We can move across the roof of the president's car without worrying too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, surprisingly enough, the president's car actually has barely any security at all. 
They're yeah. that confident. Or dumb. Delling hates the or company of his guards. And, uh, no, he's, just, uh, here, he's explaining blue. actually now. Delling hates the company of his guards and being surrounded by other people. So basically, he, he, oh, pref he there wants to. There you go, to... Ben, the first Casper right, car. Chiray. We'll have to complete the uncoupling before the first switch point. If we don't. We fuck up. Failure. We get a game then all these ships are gonna run riot. Uh -huh. Too late. Oh, game over, right? That's, so, that's what I just said, selfie. <laughs> You well, see, it? Your voice like you, now you know how it feels. There you go, Seedwebs. You're perfect, man. Am I? Good? I'm, I'm a good casting director. <laughs> so yeah, basically, Pedro, so you're have saying to move fast. I'm you're saying I'm a fast. Basically, Pedro, you're saying I'm a perfect fit for a girl who loves trains. No, she does. Like I said, the moment she replied with "boo" and then we both the smithereens, right? Immediately, I knew. Yep, I'm gonna have those voices, this girl. So it's just, <laughs> it, it, it just makes too much sense. Pedro. Oh, gonna... uh, sorry. Have the come the car and our base move in after the uncoupling. Go ahead. There after we go. the car is uncoupled. Don't worry, Shiro. The whole raft of our shipping. On. Don't worry, Shiro. They're making the plan way more complicated than it actually is with this debriefing. To be honest with you, it's okay. still cool to me. Yeah. We'll have I'm the dummy be... car and our base to and our base move in. Yeah, they they've actually put a lot of effort into this yeah. particular. It... To their credit, it is a very, very important operation, so it makes sense that they would want to go over it incredibly thoroughly. Sure, At sure, this sure. point, our train and their train will be linked and be moving together. Alright, so what step six? We kill the son of a bitch? Well, that's, a so, yeah. that's after step seven. Step six, uncouple the second escort car. Go ahead. This is the last uncoupling. The process will probably be similar to the first probably. one. Pro probably. That's a, that's not really something that's reassuring. Well, I mean, I guess plans can change on a whim. Pretty much, yeah. I'm, I'm, Step yeah, seven, I'll, escape with sense. the president's car and our base. Go ahead. If all goes well, we should be able to escape with the president's car. So yeah, this is a kidnapping Ocean's Eleven kind of style. I actually I like, like the, the yeah, way I they're projecting it. everything. So kudos to Weber in the dev team actually thought about this. After that, uh, well, actually, no, that's her. Go After ahead. that, we'll return to our base and pre and prepare to confront Delling. I read that as dating. Just to, just to, okay, so, let, so, so let's recap. So let's recap. One, get on the second escort. Two, proceed across the second escort. Three, proceed across the president's car. Three, four, sorry, four, uncouple the first escort. Five, the dummy car in our base move in. Step six, uncouple the second escort car. Number seven, escape with the president's car, Shiri. We have exactly five minutes to complete the seven procedures. No pressure, though. Everybody, though. everybody got that? Before we begin, I'm going to repeat all of this three more times. Oh. No, don't worry, don't no, worry, no, no, wait, no, no wait. hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, um, um. To quote T'Challa, we don't do that here. <laughs> if we fail, our train will collide with theirs at the switch point and it'll be all over. Don't forget that. It's okay. Whoops. Five minutes. You sure that's enough for the page the cross Five minutes. minutes. I give this planet sure, about sure, five sure. minutes. That's how long it According to the simulation that we ran, down. it should all take three minutes to complete the operation. Piece of cake for seeds, right? Don't give us less time. It's like that level in the uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, Rose, like, you mean? Five will be enough. <laughs> again, again, again. Someone's been watching some DBZ. To be to be fair, to apparently there was a mistranslation uh, with that. Apparently, from what I've heard. Oh. Uh, apparently, okay. apparently it's always been supposed to be five minutes anyway. It's just that someone screwed up in the translation. Apparently. Great. Uh, the guards have a. Oh, go ahead, sorry. The guards have a sound sensor and a temperature sensor, sir. Any sound will trigger the sound sensor to move across very quietly, sir. Okay, sounds, mm -hmm. sounds simple enough. The blue guard is carrying this sensor. Well, basically, when you, when you see, when when you see blue, don't move. <laughs> the temperature sensor will go off if you remain stationary, sir. If I swear, I have, if I have to hear the word sensor oh, one go. more time, I'm going to censor myself. The guard in red is guarding you the door. You just said it. When a guard opens the blind, that means he's checking the beep, so be careful. 
I, uh, Basically, I, I, blue, you don't take... move, or red, you have to move. The but range it's... on these sensors is equal to huh. one to one window. Keep an eye on the window below. By the way, if you fuck up too many times in this mission, your seed rank will actually decrease. So if you don't want to do more more tests, so... you know, try to get good. Exactly how do you avoid them? And basically, run a step, depending on which guard is below you. So stop if there is a blue guard below you, and run if there is a red guard below you. Hmm, not having to move if there's a blue sign, stop sign. Hmm. <laughs> Gio, my mind already went there. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, Shira. I, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't go think I, You know, I don't have quite the name there either. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I anyway, the dog. I, it's actually very. It, 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 it's actually. Uh, I, I will. Uh, it's actually pretty convenient that Galbedia bothered to color code their, the guards that carry each thing. I know, right? And and to leave this information out in the open. Sure. That's why I'm um, doing this. Uh, uh, question: How can you uncouple the cars from a moving train? Uh, Selfie, aren't you a fan of trains? Well, she sure. kind of has a point, though. Uncoupling um, the cars with a moving train. We can't train uncouple the cars directly. She sure. does have a point, Dwibs. Uncoupling cars of moving trains wouldn't really do much help Instead, if you know the trains are clashing with each other. Instead, we'll have to temper with the control system that manages the coupling. If we temporarily disable the circuit for the connection, the car will uncouple automatically. To disable it, we have to enter several codes. Katazi is greatest storyteller. Uh, and we had the codes. Renoa has them set. Sure. I'll, I'll be in charge of of relaying. relaying. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be in charge of relaying the codes to Squall. That means uh, Squall. Sure. You have to. That means Squall that you have to hang out with her for a bit, a bit more, despite you not wanting to. So the code of Squawk in my play. <laughs> Squawk. <laughs> You'll slide down the side of the train using a cable and enter the codes into the system. Okay, Kiki, not gonna lie, calling him Squawk would actually have been more original. Now, I need you to listen carefully. Oh, mind you, Squawking and Plasma right, talks. Alright, I'm listening. Oh, mind you, Squawking and Plasma. Hey, listen. There you go. Go ahead, Shiri. Each code is made up of numbers between 1 and 4 and has 4 digits. Two, three, four, one is an example. So circle for one, the X for two, is, square for three, triangle the for four. The code is one, one, one. Let me guess. The, the, guess. the code is one, two, three. It's four. all. It's always random numbers that. Uh, I don't yeah. think. I don't. I don't. I don't think they repeat each other in the same. Do they? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know, remember. So, actually, some, no. Sometimes they do. Actually, now that I think about it, it, it it's random. Do it. That's all it is. Hi. But the keypad won't have numbers. Instead, it'll have four buttons. Those. Yeah. For instance, For instance if, okay. if oh if I relay the code three one two four, you'll push yeah those uh, those, those buttons in order square in circle, circle, circle triangle square, and square yeah, yeah. circle X and triangle. Go ahead. You'll have to be quick and you'll have to be quick and precise. You'll have about five minutes to enter each. Five seconds code. actually. Oh, sorry, five, five seconds. seconds. Five minutes. Noah, <laughs> yes. are the seconds well, or minutes? I don't need to be going on free time seconds. here. Seconds. Otherwise, the code will change and the past entries will become invalid. Hmm. Interesting. So time is on the essence, essentially. Mm -hmm. So like we said, we have to enter all the codes to disable the connection. Simple. All right. After we uncouple the cars... We'll wait for the others to operate the rail switch. Okay. Remember, we only have five minutes to do everything, so make sure that you're prepared. And it's five seconds for the codes. I do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. okay. I would have preferred if it was five minutes. All right. Okay, let's try pa practicing entering the codes. I'm guessing it's a bit unforgiving. No, no, it's not. It's just that uh, I'm mostly just joking. It's fine. It's fine. All right. L. Okay. So the code is that. Okay. And let's enter it. There you go. Code one confirmed. The code is four four one two. Four four one two. Code two confirmed. The code is three two four three. So basically, it's literally that simple. Uh, she will give you a code. Just enter it. 
and you have to do it within about five seconds. You yep. got it? I do. Okay. All right, can, we, I got can we start again? No. Go ahead. In the real thing, there's a strict time limit leading up to the switch point. Don't forget that. See, 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 now moments like these actually work. They give you a tiny little tutorial to prepare you, and then boom, no forcing you to have to re-listen to stuff either. Um, that's all. Yep, that's fine. By the way, this model's nice, but the president car looks kind of shabby. Why is that? Selfie! This hey, is she's a... not singing. At least be thankful for Th that. This is just a toy for demonstration purposes, Selfie. Does that really matter? How did you manage to graduate? Because and maybe I'm she just smart. likes model trains. Okay, I'm okay, smart. Okay. S-M-R-T smart. Uh, yeah, grabs. but no one made it. That's why we bought everything else at the gift store. What? <laughs> oh, I thought some kid... Never mind, I get the it. paint job sucks, too. Oh my Damn. god. It's... Well, fuck you. Are you all experts on train models or something? At least Squall's oh, just thinking uh... it in his mind. Yeah. Oh, shut up. I made it look like that on purpose. Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> now let us do the okay, tactical dance with this. Again, the, 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 way the, the way this game handles comedy is just... <laughs> Pedro Disney Princess there. is feeling anger. Oh no. It represents. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, Shuri. Oh. It represents my hatred towards Delling. Sure. Uh, she, she's more of a 90s princess, Shuri, rather yeah, than a 40s princess. Oh, neat. So, I guess she's one of the. I was referencing more enchanted. Ugliest things that I've ever well, seen. That's a, in my life. Well, that's exactly oh it, Shuri. Right? This beat is still that's going. That's true, actually. Never this mind. is. Okay. This is not funny. <laughs> okay, but Tio, but Tio, it's Selfie now complimenting Renoa. Although uh, I get the feeling Squall doesn't buy it. No, uh, uh, go ahead, Shuri. Are you guys finished? No. Are you guys finished? Enough about the model. Can we get on with it now? Thank you. Get on with it. I actually get on with it. it. Uh, not sure. Uh, remember, Giselle is a parody of the old Snow White era princesses, more so yeah. than more so than the nineties ones. Yeah, can you explain you that again? All right. Let's decide on the party. Again, okay. Cipher's not here, so we don't have any idiots who need to have it repeated. Will they actually repeat the whole thing? No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Gathering information is my specialty, sir. Ouch! Okay. My stomach. Walk it off, dude. Walk it off. Yeah, I'm for Renault on this one. We're moving again. I'll go take a look. Okay, then. Well, that's all. Talk to Watts when you're ready. So, anyway, this is... Go ahead. The sooner the better. So yeah, basically that's the game telling you, okay, take this time to save if you want to, just in case. Um, which I, I will do. Alright, let's go save then. But yeah, um, what I was trying to say was, uh, no, 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 that's the thing she wrote, no, no, she literally froze her freaking dog into the end and somehow on contact the dog creates some kind of explosion that hurts the enemies uh, again i i, I genuinely do thought we, do we actually show it later me. in the game pedro of course Chell, you i can't play through this game and not show that thank you <laughs> I, right, I need to see this <laughs> All right. Uh, Tune in next time for the great president. Hold on, to, hold, on, hold on to. I have to. I have to mention this because that's one of my favorite bits of his review. Uh, here's the interesting thing, Shiroi. Right? Um, when Spoonie wa was doing his review back in 2008, he was uh, taking the piss out of the game and a lot of when it came to naming the characters. So when he got to Renault and Renault was all. Oh, like I'm, I'm Cypher's ex-girlfriend and crap. Uh, uh, Spoonie even went. You know what? I don't even care who she is anymore. To me, she's just a whore. And he, and in the name, he named her a whore. Literally, a space whore. <laughs> and then, wait, wait, wait. Here's the best bit. Here's the best. Here's the best bit. Uh, she right. Then when it came time to, uh, uh, to name the Angelo, he named the dog Anal. And as a result, the tutorial becomes unintentionally hilarious because, oh, no. beca beca because on the tutorial it says. Uh, as Renoa walks around, 
uh, Angelo learns, uh, uh, she learns more Angelo tricks. As a result of Spoonie's renaming, it phrases, uh, as a, a whore walks around, she learns more anal tricks. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, renaming things in this game can lead to unintentional comedy. So, that's kind of fun, at least. All right, everybody, see you for the next part. See ya. See ya. Yeah.